think that it's not crazy, but when people get tattoos in a band, that's the coolest thing. Like, to see that is like, you know, not to say that everybody needs to get a tattoo of a band, not, not tattoos are for everybody, but seeing someone come up and say, hey, I got this, or, you know, I have your signature, or I whatever else, like, that's always amazing to us. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say Hor Horrible ones. So, um, there's a thing called Andaly that we're aware uh, of. <laughs> where, and I don't understand why they do this, but it's uh, heterosexual girls who want to put us in homosexual relationships, but they cool. want to be with us, so we don't understand the dichotomy of that. Like, why do you want us to be together if you want to be with us, sort of thing? Very strange. It's weird, because, like, there's no other situation in the world where, like, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of part and parcel for, I guess, being in the public eye or being in a band, because... If, if a regular guy, say our security guard, Matt, standing behind here, if he and a friend of his were to go hang out a lot, go to bars, be friends, no one in the world that they knew would write a story about those two friends being gay together. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I, fair enough. I mean, there's nothing against homosexuality. I, I happen to be someone who is an avid supporter of, of the rights of, of, you know, sort of the homosexuality and everything. So I don't have any issue with it. It's just funny to us because it's so the opposite of who we are as people, but, you know, that being said, and it also, notably, like, I have a girlfriend that the fans know about, obviously he's a big fan of ladies, like, there's not, but whatever, I mean, if, if, like, if people want to write stuff, I it's, guess they it's, a, it's been entertaining, I mean, we see a lot of stuff online of us, you know, in different gifts and weird kind of funny stuff that we do. Um, we like to clap for seagulls, too, for we, seagulls. we do this. Well, there's we also unfortunate stuff. situations, like, when we played Philadelphia on this tour, um, my microphone cut out, didn't work. And we have in-ear systems, and so I can't hear oh, any oh, microphones yes. on the stage except for the one that is being fed into my ears, which is mine. And then if mine cuts out, I hear his. And so he has a microphone attached to his face, like a, a, a headset mic, and I can't go up to the other microphones because I won't be able to hear myself. So the only one that I can hear through is his. So I have to sing into his face like that, and all the people are like, oh, they're kissing. They're, kissing. they're oh. doing, oh, I knew it was true. So only my and his mics work, like the other ones that are up there don't work, we don't hear them in our inner system. Yeah, they work in the house, but you don't hear them here, because it's just like, that's so the way it makes sense. I just give him mine so we can hear it in his ears, and then there's gifts of us, it looks like we're kissing, and it's, it's a ridiculous thing. My favorite tattoo is my arms. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting to the point where I just have arms now, it's not yeah. one particular yeah, tattoo. there's just so much I don't know. You got the feather up there, Native American feather, and my chick has one, it's kind of a cool little tribute to my upbringing and everything.